In this video, we have a look at elicitation in theory. So what is elicitation? Elicitation is a new feature which was introduced recently into the model context protocol. Elicitation allows MCP servers to request structured input from users during tool execution. So instead of requiring all user inputs upfront, servers can interactively ask users for information as needed. Hi, sorry, just a few seconds and a quick ad. If you really want to understand MCP and deep dive into the concepts, I just added an hour of new content to my Udemy course. So here is what's new. Environment tool flags, so you can enable and disable tools. Structured outputs, so tool returns typed outputs via MCP schemas auto parsed from JSON. Elicitation, so this is what this video is about. Middleware, for things like authentication, logging, rate limits and recoverable errors. Context state, so per request state that middleware can pass to a tool. Declarative config, so you configure everything, so your tool server via fast mcp.json. Tag filtering, clients can now use middleware and query params to filter only for relevant tags. Thank you very much for your support. An easy example is the confirmation of a tool call upfront. So a client makes a tool request. The server will ask if the client really wants to perform the tool execution. If the client says yes, then the tool will be executed. If the client says no or does not say yes, the tool execution will be cancelled. For elicitation, we've got three options. Accept, decline and cancel. Decline means the user said no, so the server does not continue. Cancel means the user dismissed the prompt without choosing, so the run is treated as aborted. In this video, I'm going to show you a hotel booking server that requests missing information from the user or from an LLM, so we've got two examples. This will be quite high level, so I will not explain every line of code. Okay, I'm now in Visual Studio Code. On the left, you will see multiple files, and if you want to play around with the files yourself, then you can download it from the link in the description. So we start with the server.py, and this is the MCP server. So we've got a hotel booking server, where we've got two hotels, which are in a specific city, where we've got one specific hotel, and we've, and we've got a specific price for one night. And the user is now able to book for, let's say, five nights in the hotel in Munich. When someone wants to book a trip, let's say to Munich in this case, to this specific hotel, but doesn't give any information about how many nights you want to stay, then without elicitation, this might result in an error. So the approach is that the server will identify that the nights that the user wants to book are actually missing and actively requests for that. So this is what we get via elicitation. When we scroll down a little bit, then we can see this is the tool where we can book our trip. So the first one is just to get all of the available prices for each um, hotel. But here is where the actual tool that we're interested in is happening. So we've got the context object. This is from fastmcp. This has got the illicit method. So we need that object. And what we also have is the city, hotel, and nights. So this is what our book trip expects. So the default is none, and we want to check whether this information is present or not. So if we don't have a city, then we will actively request a city via the elicit function. So under the hood, that makes use of the elicit method of the context object, where we provide a message for the um, callback for the client, and we also want to provide a response model. So this is dynamic because for different inputs, we've got different pydentic models. So price input, city input, and the nights input all look different. So this was built in a dynamic way. The elicit method will now make a request to the client. I'm going to show you that in the raw client. So here is the raw client. We've got a client with the specific elicitation handler. This is a function. And now, so this is not something I would recommend in production. So we might just make string matching here. But this is just for a dummy use case. I'm going to show you that more dynamic LLM based elicitation handler client in this file. But now we want to extract the correct information here. And at the end, we want to accept it or we want to cancel elicitation. So this is also based on string matching. And the third option here is that we decline the elicitation request. Okay, like I said, this is just a dummy that I'm gonna show you in a few seconds. But first we're gonna start the server. So let's try it out. So we run uv run python and then the server.py. So this will start our fast MCP server. And for the second one, we got uv run python and then raw client.py. So this will now just be a CLI client. So we will enter Munich. Like I said, if we 
type anything else, this will not work. So this is not um, very fault tolerant. So we just write hotel isa blick. Then the server will ask for the nights we want to stay. We enter three. And then at the end, we're just gonna type yes. And now we can see the booking result is fine. Status is okay. City Munich hotel nights three. And the total price is 360 euros. So that worked, but like I said, this is not very dynamic. Normally I would say we need some kind of more intelligent elicitation handler that identifies the missing pieces and perfect for that is like most of the times nowadays an LLM. So let's go to the client.py and here is an illicit, where is it here? The illicit um, LLM elicitation handler. So this has to be a callable. So this is a class which makes use of the underscore underscore call method. And what's happening here is that we provide a system message. You are, are an automated agent, Pro provide JSON matching the schema keys only. So we provide that elicitation payload to the LLM and we want to get structured output from the LLM. The only thing that is not dynamic here is the confirmation because we always want to confirm the uh, booking in this example. So at the end, we've got another LLM and this is built with Langref. So this is a little bit more complex. You are a traveling and booking agent and it should always use the tools. Um, the server will elicit missing fields and final confirmation. So this is what we provide for the LLM. And I'm just going to show you three examples. Show hotel prices in Munich and Berlin. So this does not make use of elicitation. The second one, book a hotel in Munich. As you can clearly see, this does not contain every information that we need. So we don't have the nights and we also don't have the hotel. The third one, is an example where everything is present. The hotel in Munich and three nights. So I'm gonna show you how the different looks like. So UV run Python client.py. So this is just the other method. The second one, you can see there's a lot of elicitation going on. Keys, hotel, we get the correct hotel and the LLM provides an integer. So that is the default from the system prompt. And at the end we get one night for 120 euros. So in the third example, you can see there is less going on. There is everything, every detail present for booking the hotel. And at the end, you can see that the booking was confirmed correctly. So you can see this works, but I'm still not totally happy since server and client logic are still rather tightly coupled and the client has to know a lot of the business logic of the server. So let me know your ideas about elicitation and this approach in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye bye.